Hi everyone, welcome to Minute Gan by Radium Technologies. In this topic, we'll look into silicon carbide versus gallium nitride. Uh, these are wide band gap devices that have been available over uh, 10, 10 plus years now, but they are gaining a popularity in latest uh, last few years uh, because of their uh, ability to handle higher breakdown voltages and ability to operate at higher speeds. So we'll take a look and see uh, there are some limitations on silicon uh, devices that we use currently, either IGBTs or MOSFETs, which are mainly focused towards lower operating frequencies with the IGBTs operating somewhere around optimally to 20 kilohertz. And you can extend the range up to probably 100K with a, with a good MOSFET. But let's say if you want to go higher uh, into your voltage or frequency, then silicon carbide and gallium nitride are two of the viable uh, devices that have come into the play now with the good cost. So let's take a look and see how silicon carbide differs. Silicon carbide offers very high electron mobility and it has very good switching frequency and higher breakdown voltages and lower losses. So uh, these are very good benefits and if you take a look into the silicon carbide uh, which can operate at higher temperatures and it can operate at both high voltage and high current and it's a good alternative to a silicon IGBT. Uh, so you can switch over to a silicon carbide IGBT. And the main differences between these two is that as you can see here, the band gap energy is really high compared to a silicon. That's why these are called a wide band gap devices with breakdown voltages also pretty high. So you can operate these devices at higher voltages. So certainly silicon carbide uh, is a little bit lower compared to gallium nitride but some of the factors like the thermal conductivity helps silicon carbide to be used in very high temperature conditions mainly suited for electric vehicles and such demanding uh, conditions or each, uh, ev uh, chargers and similar other technologies using the silicon carbide gallium nitride is focused a lot more on the low voltage applications while silicon carbide on high current and high voltage applications and as you can see, the electron drift velocity is also pretty high on these and the electron mobility is comparable as well. So all of these factors included, these devices are very small in size and they offer a very competitive performance, very higher performance there compared to a silicon device and a bit expensive than the silicon, but they are well worth it if you're looking for higher efficiency, like a 98, 99% converter design. If you want, if you'd like to know more, please reach out, reach us out at Radium Technologies. Thanks.